I don't know if you guys are ready for what's about to go down right now. This is possibly the biggest, most exciting leak. I'm calling it a leak that we have had this year. Hey everyone, this is massive. We have a leak coming in from a well-regarded, well-known leaker, and I'm going to go into some of the stuff here at the very beginning that this person has gotten right over the last year. That's what makes this so exciting. And no, this isn't Sam Hunter, someone we've talked about before. This is a different leaker. Uh, and this one is Zippo. He is a user over at Reset Era, but he also runs his own blog and he's been promising for quite some time that he was going to put together a giant list of everything he knows for E3 and 2021 and he finally did but before we talk about that list let's talk about some of the things that he has gotten right in the past first off um, he nailed all the characters that have been added to smash over the past year as what he called a prediction at the time when really he was just putting out that he knows who the characters are uh, and all of them were correct. He then nailed Paper Mario the Origami King at the very beginning of 2020. That's right, at the very beginning, including the name of the game. And called it a prediction. Yeah, predicting the Origami King. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, and then uh, he also didn't give the title, but he did note that Nintendo and Camelot were going to release a game in the first half of 2021. And then we have Mario Golf announced, which would be the kind of game that Camelot would be making. So there you go. That's pretty exciting. Those are things that he's gotten right over the last year. And obviously Nintendo News has been a bit dry. Now, notably, Zippo doesn't know everything. Okay. He, he even admits in this that, he, that these are just things he's heard. He can only talk about what he's heard. This doesn't factually mean this is the entire lineup at E3, the entire lineup for the rest of this year. But there's some big stuff in here, including one particular game that I've been doubting. But now maybe my doubts are going away. So here we go. First up, he says, 2D Metroid, right? A 2D Metroid's coming, and it's being made by Mercury Steam. Now, Mercury Steam was recently dismissed as possibly making this because 505 Games is publishing the game by them, and that's been announced. However, Mercury Steam has released two games in the same year in the past. This game is supposedly done uh, and will release this year, will be announced at E3. It's literally done now. It's, it's gone gold and everything. The game's ready to go. They could give it to you today, but they're not. They're going to you know release it in, in the window they want to release it in. But yeah, 2D Metroid by Mercury Steam. So they're the ones that did Samus Returns. So obviously a studio that might know what they're doing a little bit when it comes to Metroid. So that in itself is already pretty exciting. We've had this rumor floating around for a while. Now we know who the developer is, and now we know it will be revealed at E3 instead of speculating that it will be revealed at E3. All right, next up, 2D Donkey Kong game is coming. Now what's notable about this uh, is that Nate Drake is saying, uh, who's another well-known person, Nate the Hate, has said that, Eh, some people are saying 2D. It's not really a for sure thing if it's 2D or 3D or if it's going to be a mix of both. We actually talked about this on our Nintendo Prime podcast episode 8 last night. Uh, so go watch that if you want more conversation on that front. But essentially, there is a chance that it's actually both, not just one or the other. Think back to what happened in Mario Odyssey. Anyways, uh, it won't be related to the country series. Again, we talked about this in a DK uh, video we did yesterday. Uh, it will have Diddy Kong, Cranky Kong, and the Kremlins are going to return. Uh, and, you know, it, it's going to try to be its own thing. So we'll see what happens. It is being made by the Super Mario Odyssey team, or at least the studio that did it. There might be multiple teams within that studio. But there you go. That is something that is happening according to Zippo. Next up. Here's one that we haven't really talked much about. Super Mario Party 2. Yeah, thought to not be coming because, hey, they just released that update for Super Mario Party. Why would they release an online update but not, you know, and bring out a new game in the same year? That doesn't make any sense. Well, they wanted to test servers. They wanted to test things. And the best way to test it isn't to do a demo. It's to just throw it out there in the current game and see what happens. This is supposed to be a title coming out around the holiday season. It is not the big holiday title. So think probably October, right? They usually have, a, you know, an October game. So think about uh, probably around there. And for those worried that, oh, you know, Super Mario Party kind of let me down because of a lack of boards, boards are a major 
focus in this game. So, you know, we only got four last time. I expect eight. I expect double the amount of boards this time around. Maybe more if they're really focusing heavy on the boards. Because that's like the biggest crit. Now that we have full online, biggest criticism is the boards. And obviously, maybe being able to play against strangers. However, you know, internet connections and all that might not make that tenable. But uh, again, Super Mario Party 2 coming later this year. Nintendo is supposedly extremely happy with the sales of the first Super Mario Party. So quick to, to the trigger to get another one out that addresses a lot of the concerns that the first one had. All right. Next up, a Fire Emblem game is coming this summer by Intelligent Systems. Going to be revealed at E3. He's not sure if this is a game uh, that's a remake or if this game is a new one. He knows about the other rumors out there, so he's kind of leaning towards remake, but he hasn't heard exactly what this game is. He just knows it's coming. Revealed at E3 this summer and who's making it. So, again, confirmation on that is nice to have. Here's another one that we haven't talked about much. More 99 games are coming. They're going to be arcade-focused, and he says potentially one of them could be like a Donkey Kong 99-style game. Obviously, it could be called Donkey Kong 40 instead for the 40th anniversary, but it's the sort of games that's supposed to stick around. So not supposed to be temporary. Obviously, there's arcade Donkey Kong. That's like where DK started. So it would be really, really cool to see a 99 DK, and I think it makes just a lot of sense. So... Again, that's a possibility, but there's going to be arcade-focused 99 games coming, free games to Nintendo Switch Online, more of those online multiplayer-focused ones. So that's that's exciting because the 99 games are great. Tetris 99 is great. Pac-Man 99 is great. Mario 35 was great. Like, all these games have been awesome, and it feels like this is something that's going to stick around for a while, this kind of trend of making 99 arcade version uh, stuff. I, I like this. I really like this. Can we get a can we get an Asteroids 99, please? Am I, am I the only one that... You know, there's crickets playing. Okay, I guess I'm the only one that wants that. All right, moving on. Here's a game that has not been announced yet or even teased by anybody, and Zippo would be the source on this, and that is Detective Pikachu 2 is coming this year, and he says it will be revealed at a Pokemon Presents happening before E3. Obviously, there'll be news on all the other Pokemon games that have been announced as well, but that's a new announcement happening coming this year. No idea when the release timing is, but this year. On the Zelda, th Zelda 35th anniversary, and I'm going to separate out the Breath of the Wild 2 news here to its own thing. He, the only thing he knows for certain is coming, besides Breath of the Wild 2, is Twilight Princess and the Wind Waker HD, maybe even as a bundle. That He knows that for sure is coming. He doesn't know anything else about the 35th anniversary other than the expectation that everything's going to be dropped at E3. So Zelda 35th anniversary drop happening at E3, according to Zippo. That's exciting in and of itself, just to see what the hell else is going on. All right. Before we get into the final big game, let's briefly talk about Breath of the Wild 2. Not that this isn't a big game, but then you'll see why it's not the final thing we're talking about. So, unfortunately, he says that Breath of the Wild 2 is not coming in 2021. He notes that... It's been one of the games at Nintendo most affected by the COVID-19 protocols. Uh, and, yeah, it, it's just it's just not... You don't have to wait too long. It's going to come in spring. It's supposed to come before the end of the fiscal year. Uh, he says, obviously, plans could change. Maybe plans have changed since last he's heard about it. It's always possible that if the certain big game here at the end isn't ready, that maybe they push Breath of the Wild 2 out a little sooner. It's not as if releasing, you know, not releasing in November or December, but then releasing in, you know, February, you know, April, March, is really going to make that big of a difference. Um, but it is something they were, you know, they want to make sure they get this game right. Uh, so, unfortunately, according to Zippo, not coming this year, but tentatively plans could change and still come this year, but likely not. However, on the good news side, it will be at E3. It's going to be a major game featured at E3. We're going to see it. We're going to hear about it. going to hear trailer and new information. So that part is exciting. While it might not come this year, we're going to hear about it then. It also means we're likely going to hear about it in, in, towards the end of the year. Nintendo Direct could appear at the Game Awards. So a lot of hype could still be had for Breath of the Wild 2. A lot more speculation, lots of information. It just might not be landing this holiday like many of us hoped. Could still, but he's... He's here in 2022. Now this last one. It's so vague, but then it's not vague at the same time. <sighs> Are you ready? I got I got a whole giant paragraph about this because there's so much information around it. 
Zippo claims the current big holiday planned game, the game to carry the holidays, is a new Mario Kart. Now, it's kind of weird because he's not 100% sure if it's going to be DLC for Mario Kart 8, if it's Mario Kart 9, or even the potential fan-thrown-together Nintendo Kart concept. He does know that it's been worked on non-stop for three years, and it might miss the holidays, but if it did, it would only just miss it and land in January of 2022. So even if it didn't come out November, December, it would land in January. It is that close to being done. Uh, I guess I guess a, a hair closer than Breath of the Wild 2 is to being done. But he does note that the current plan here is that this title is supposed to heavily carry Nintendo during the holidays, which kind of suggests it can't just be DLC for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. That's not going to carry much. I'm not saying DLC won't sell well. It's just that's not going to carry holidays, right? Uh, also... Just to make sure that this wasn't like some vaporware or or like a, a tour thing, he confirmed through his sources that this has nothing to do with Mario Kart Tour, nothing to do with Mario Kart Live Home Circuit, and wasn't news about the new Universal Theme Park Mario Kart ride. Those are three Mario Kart things that have been happening recently, not related to any of those. This is a fourth Mario Kart project that's being worked out, and it's specifically for Switch, and it's something new. That is exciting. Think about it. A Mario Kart 9 or a Nintendo Kart. Probably going to be more like a Mario Kart 9. They might not call it Mario Kart 9. Maybe it's Mario Kart Double Dash 2. I don't know. Whatever they decide to call it, right? A new Mario Kart. That's record breaking. Current Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, 35 million. Mario Kart 9, it might sell 30 million in the first year. That's how big of a deal Mario Kart is. I know I just speculated, and there's been, you know, what, what's a good time to drop a Mario Kart 9? Are they really going to do, and, and I get it. There's a lot of arguments to say, just keep that Mario Kart 8 Deluxe train going. But we also have Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is a game that was developed almost a decade ago. It's been almost 10 years. So, we've heard from Samus Hunter. The team behind Mario Kart in Arms was working on something new, but Samus Hunter didn't know what. Now we're hearing from Zippo, something Mario Kart related is coming. Guys, Mario Kart 9 is happening, and whether it's this holiday or January, doesn't matter. That game's going to blow up. That is Nintendo's Animal Crossing ace in the hole, either for this holiday or very early next year. And what's crazy is, if this gets delayed into January of 2022, let's think about what that first spring area session is that like all the way up through march of 2022 let's think about this for a moment it could have mario kart 9 breath of the wild 2 and pokemon legends arceus we have never ever seen a lineup like that from nintendo and that like we talk about 2017 fondly right with breath of the wild splatoon 2 mario odyssey you know mario kart 8 deluxe even to go on throw that in there but all this stuff was spread out over the course of a year we're talking three-month span, three major games, one probably dropping each month. Holy crap. Um, are they ready? Now, nothing in here about the Pro. This is just about a game lineup. So, hardware news to come later. Zip was not really talking about hardware stuff here. He wanted to focus just on games. He does know that he knows a few things about the Pro, but again, that's not the focus of this report. So there you go. This is the giant leak from a very reliable leaker, a person who's been correct on everything they've said in the past year, and now they just threw this all out there. Oh boy, this isn't everything that Nintendo has in the works. This isn't everything that's going to be at E3, but what is here is juicy as hell. Also of note, uh, we have a second video coming here. Another one early in, in the day, not quite this morning, probably around noon or 1 p.m., uh, about new hardware. We talked about this news actually once before where Nintendo talked about how it's investing in next gen and people kind of doubted it because it was just a, 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 Gip, a, a Gibson thing, David Gibson throwing it out. I have the full translation now from Nintendo, their own quotes. It's this giant long paragraph. I don't know how well you can see that. Um, and we can get deep into what Nintendo is doing both software and hardware wise as they invest more money into them than they ever have in the history of the company. But more on that 
in the next video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next one.